Hi, I'm Diane Long and welcome to my studio. I'd like to show you a technique I developed for Thomas Kincaid rubber stamps from Cornish Heritage Farms. This is the Fox Glove Cottage. I use Ranger brand archival ink in either olive, sepia, or coffee. You want to get a good inking, and sometimes with Thomas Kincaid stamps, the clouds stamp a little drastically, so sometimes I wipe it off just the top. Place paper down on the rubber, and rub. You can hold it down on one side while you peek to see if you got a good impression, and then lift up. Now I'm going to re-ink the stamp. And use a piece of inkjet printable acetate. It's rough on one side and smooth on the other. And there's usually a bar that will tell you which side to stamp on. You're going to put the rough side down. And again, holding on one side and rubbing on the other to make sure you get good contact. Now, when you line it up, it's going to be blurry sometimes. You want to line up the corners and line up the panes in the windows. And you can see how it gives a more detailed effect. What I like to do is combine the sepia, the coffee, or the olive to see which one will give me a better effect. So sometimes I'll switch them out. see which one I like better. So today I'm going to use the olive on the paper and the coffee on the acetate. One of the first things I do is turn the acetate over to the smooth side and use a sharpie marker and color in the windows. It gives a much more enhanced version, and it really makes them look like they're lit. Now I'm going to bring in some colored pencils. 